Hey guys, Riz here. Gonna give you another Metro Exit achievement guide. We're gonna be going for two achievements in one: the Alyosha, where he doesn't get wounded, and the Force Child. I think they're both done together at the best time, is because basically, if you stealth the mission, you're gonna get both these at the same time. Now, for the other other one, the Force Child is completely the tag level without tagging anyone or getting noticed. Now, this means you cannot knock anybody out, melee them, stealth melee them, anywhere, anything stealth related. You cannot even touch a person, shoot with an arrow, you can't do any of that stuff at all. And you have to do this at night time, I would suggest at night for sure. If there's a, not a bed at the beginning and the build that's behind me at the very beginning level, I think there might be a bed in there and just sleep till night time. If not, just stand around until it turns night. It might take a little bit, but it didn't take too long for me to turn night. I don't think I even slept. I just kind of explored around a little bit and grabbed collectibles. So I would highly recommend doing this at night and on easy difficulty. On Ranger Hardcore, it might be a bit more of a task to do this because you might get spotted a lot easier. But definitely do this at night because they don't tend to see you basically for crap. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm not going to be talking through this entire video. There's going to be a couple areas where I'm going to mention a few things here and there, but that's about it. Again, just watch where I walk and what I do in the order I do things. It should be pretty easy to follow that. Now, there's a couple interactions in the level. That you're going to come across, like those guys at the beginning that see you and warn you not to come in here. They don't count towards negating the achievement. It's story related. So there's several sections along the way that I'm going to mention and point out that they're story related, that they do not negate the achievement. So keep that in mind. You can kill animals and be spotted by the animals, so don't worry about those. That's going to be inevitable to come across those in your path anyway, so don't worry about that as well. Um, that should basically about sum this up. So, you're gonna get both achievements for basically this stealth and this whole entire thing, and don't get noticed. Uh, obviously, quick save whenever you feel like you want to make a little spot where you think you got past a good section. Uh, make sure you abuse that as well, and if you get caught, you just reload that, and you'll be just fine. So, I'm gonna keep talking here for a little bit longer because the first little interaction is gonna be coming up after you get up here and zip line down there's going to be a gap here to the left hand side after you zip line down if you choose to go that route to grab a collectible so like I said there are just a few interactions along the way now also on a note if you want to do this mission stealthily by the way that little flash there if you haven't noticed before is a positive flash so that way that knows you got through the area positively with a good karma without actually killing anybody um, collectibles though if you do want to get the collectibles at the same time with doing this mission just make some quick saves beforehand grab a collectible it doesn't matter you can reload it and the collectible will still be in your inventory or whatever you want to call it in your categories of collectibles you know it's still collected so you don't have to worry about that but this guy here is the first guy that you can be spotted by and doesn't do any harm uh, the second spot coming through here you'll be coming down this little path and you have to jump down this hole and also another interaction with people that's story related that does not count but I kind of skipped this for you guys nothing to really watch you but I just wanted to show you that what happened here is this story related you can't do anything about this so it doesn't avoid the achievement but remember the collectibles can be done while doing this stealthily just make a quick save any point before being caught grab a collectible and then reload it and the collectible is still there so you'll be good to go this little bit further ahead after that spot this guy over here has your backpack you get back so don't worry about being spotted by him it's also story related so keep that in mind you have to go through here to grab your backpack anyway he doesn't do anything just be sure don't kill him if you sit here and talk to him for a while he asks you to kill him because you put him in misery don't do that it's gonna avoid the achievement other than that guys just follow my path through the video I don't think there's any other actual interactions that are gonna be coming across that are actually human related it's not gonna be any more questionable ones and once you get to the boat area, when you get past the boat with the gate, that's going to be your last area with humans sneak by. Other than that, you'll be good to go. Throughout the video, I'm not going to really show you the, the full path of every single little area of interactions of walking through here and the animals. Uh, I'm just going to basically show you like the main bases and how to get by the main bases. Everything else isn't too bad to get around. You should be having problems exploring the map if you even want to explore a little bit because there's only a few little side areas in between that there's maybe some humans out to the side and they're they're easily avoidable if especially if you don't you know go right up next to them you're not gonna be caught so 
Other than that, just keep in mind that once you get past the boat area, you're good to go for the rest of the mission. There's no more humans. You'll get your achievement at the very end of the mission. And with the Alyosha one, you'll get it at the end of the mission as well. You'll tell if he got wounded or not by the fact that when you zip line down, he will be passing out on the zip line, and then they help him to train. If not, he gets on the train on his own volition, so you'll know for sure at that moment you get your achievement for that as well. That should basically do it for this video guide, guys. So uh, just keep watching through. I hope to help you guys out for any uh, confusions or anything else or anything that's tricky. Uh, stay tuned for more of my metro guides. I'm coming up soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Well, that is true. What do you think he went to that breakfast? Um, you could say he was heading for the church. And why did he just take them? Well, we didn't come much together. After all, they're all close to the point.
to say it. But this thing isn't going to say a word anyways.
An enormous beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. No matter how much I like. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, there, oh dear. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go.
Don't take the L. Nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come. We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held.